This is furious. This is insane. This is Toyo, and this is Sparta. After 70 hours of madness and furies, I do share my fair share of cheese along the way, including poisoning daydreaming AIs. A few moments later. Day two. To reverse and engineer the use of the holes at castle walls. Oh, and how could I forget about the angry baby crawling on the snowy mountain? What do you call him? Oh, feet. <laughs> I now realise this is way more fun than I anticipated. It's not only engaging in terms of discovering the many unique locales and how draw-dropping vistas can be, but being able to mess around with the various builds just showcases how deep this game gets. Despite me being a glass cannon user, I was able to switch my build back and forth to get the fullest taste of blood with these more OP builds. Yes, I started out as a noob wandering aimlessly, met Santa, swung my sword to look cool and even booted a few dead animals off cliffs. There's a whole lot more to life in the lands between. That satisfaction and joy is indescribable because it just gave me that sense of achieving something significant and rode my way around through the many majestic creatures in the game. And yes, the punishing difficulty is there. It definitely gets easier as you grind through the game, and I managed to farm my first fortune of runes by witnessing the Dino Crisis at Caleb as well as shooting down multiple pigeons at this very mountain top. This game has brought back the explorer in me and after having my ass whipped for many many hours I've managed to improve my strategies, gearing up, stats up, I'm now ready to rumble. I love this game and would recommend you to try it out and don't give up when the mindless fiends or bosses fuck you up because you too will improve by staying resilient to shitty situations and one day you will become a better self. And in this case, the Elden Lord. <laughs>